There's a famous actor from Greece who really left a lasting impression with her acting and her passion for important causes. You might know her from a movie called Never on Sunday, but there's more to her than just that. She was into politics and really loved her Greek heritage. People have some really interesting stories about her life. Share your own special memories or stories about her below and keep an eye out for more surprising, funny, and sad facts about her. In the world of movies, one remarkable actress made a big difference. She was famous for her outstanding acting and her support for Greek films. One of her movies got her nominated for an important award, which made her very famous worldwide. Not only was she good at acting, but she also stood up for important things like democracy and human rights. People loved watching her on screen because she was so captivating. She didn't just act well. She also cared deeply about important issues and wasn't afraid to speak up about them. Whether she was acting or standing up for what she believed in, she always got noticed because she was so committed to her beliefs. In the history of movies, she's remembered as someone who inspired others and showed how powerful art can be in making a difference. Even after the movies ended, her work continued to make people think about important things. She's a reminder that one person can have a big effect on the world. For those who admire her, She's a symbol of bravery, strength, and sticking to your beliefs. Her journey from Greece to Hollywood shows that anyone can achieve greatness if they work hard enough. Her story keeps inspiring new generations of artists and activists, showing us all how storytelling can change the world. In the world of cinema, a famous pair declined an offer to make a sequel to their hit film. Instead, they chose to work on a new movie, which unfortunately didn't do well in theaters. Later on, one of them got involved in politics and served as a minister of culture for almost 10 years. In 2002, there was a festival dedicated to their work, showcasing beloved movies like the one they turned down the sequel for. Their decision to stick to their artistic vision showed their dedication to creativity over just making money. The festival and Twin Two celebrated not only their movies, but also their impact on Greek culture and cinema. Their partnership went beyond just making movies, leaving a lasting impression on Greece and the world. They inspired many filmmakers and artists who came after them. Their story is a part of cinematic history, remembered for its dedication to art and storytelling. In the world of entertainment, she was honored with an award from the Women's International Center in 1991. Aside from her work, she also cherished her family life, becoming the stepmother of three kids when she married Jules Dason. These children, Julie, Rachel, and Joe, who happens to be a famous French singer, were very important to her. She found significance in the number 18, linking it to various important events and relationships in her life, like her husband's and grandfather's birthdays, as well as the day she met Dason. This number held a special meaning for her throughout her journey. These insights provide a peek into the different parts of her life and experiences. In 1990, she entered the world of politics by running for mayor of Athens, but unfortunately didn't win. Despite this, her successful career in both theater and film continued. One of her big achievements was her role in Ilya Darling, which got lots of praise and even got her nominated for a Tony Award. But it was her work with director Jules Dason in the movie Top Cappy that really showed how talented she was. Her character, Elizabeth Litt, got more depth in the film thanks to her close relationship with Dason. This change from the original story helped viewers understand the robbery plot better. Melina Mercury's role in Top Cappy shows how good she was at acting and how she's still remembered in movies today. Immersed in the world of music and poetry, the lesser-known record LP featuring the music of Yanis Markopoulos for an obscure film embraces a unique collaboration. Within its grooves, a notable contributor lends her voice to two tracks, infusing them with depth and emotion. On one side, she recites a poignant poem by Yanis Ritzos, adding layers of meaning to the melodies. On the flip side, she sings lyrics penned by El Papadopoulos, her voice intertwining seamlessly with the music. The LP, a product of artistic exploration and expression, transcends mere entertainment, offering a glimpse into the intersection of creativity and passion. Through her involvement, she not only showcases her talent, but also underscores her dedication to artistic pursuits across different mediums. Beyond her contributions to the LP, her political affiliations and family ties illuminate the complexities of her character, leaving a lasting impression on those who encounter her work. As the needle meets the vinyl, her voice echoes through the decades, a reminder of her impact on both the cultural and social landscapes of her era. Starting her political journey in 1977, she quickly became friends with some of the most influential people in Greece and beyond. 
She had a special connection with the Greek Prime Minister at the time, Andreas Papandreou, because they shared similar ideas and goals. She also formed close relationships with famous personalities like Odysseus Elodies, a Nobel Prize winning poet whose poetry touched her deeply, and Manos Hatsidakis, an Oscar winning composer whose music often played during her powerful speeches. In the realm of literature, she bonded with well-known writers like Terence McNally and Vasilis Vasilikos, sharing ideas and discussions that went beyond politics. Even though she had her own political views, she greatly respected Konstantinos Karamanlis, the leader of the Conservative Party, for his work in Greek politics and society. One of the most heartfelt acknowledgments of her influence came from the music industry. Camilo Sesto, a famous Spanish singer, wrote a song named Melina in her honor, capturing her spirit and the strong feelings she evoked in many people. Her mark on the world goes way beyond her political work. She was a symbol of culture, diplomacy, and enthusiasm whose memory continues to motivate people today. She rests in peace at the First Cemetery of Athens, a place she shares with her grandfather and the former mayor of Athens, Spiros Mercurius. As a politician, her most passionate cause was advocating for the return of the Parthenon marbles, also known as the Elgin marbles from the British Museum to Greece. This was a dream she pursued with great determination. Close to her heart, too, was the memory of her dear friend and co-star Anthony Perkins, with whom she starred in Phaedra in 1962. A photograph of Perkins was a constant beside her bed, a testament to their friendship. She once humorously noted that Perkins' only flaw was his fondness for milk. Growing up in a famous Greek family heavily involved in politics, she was surrounded by the influence of her father and grandfather. Despite facing restrictions during Greece's military rule, her movies like Stella, Never on Sunday, and Top Cappy became very popular after the dictatorship ended. She admired figures like Greta Garbo and Dolores Ibarori for their mysterious personalities. Moving from her family's political background to becoming a respected figure in Greek cinema and music, her journey is an important part of Greek cultural history. Throughout her career, she challenged what society thought was normal, both on and off the screen, supporting causes she cared about. Her love for the arts and her strong belief in her values earned her respect and praise from people worldwide. Melina Mercury and Jules Dason's film Top Cappy served as the inspiration for the TV series Mission Impossible, produced by Dezillu, owned by Lucille Ball. This connection was further emphasized when the film Mission Impossible, starring Tom Cruise, referenced Top Cappy. During her seven-year exile in France from 1967 to 1974, she recorded several popular records for Universe AL featuring Greek and French songs under her name. Melina and Jules Dason lived together for nearly 10 years before tying the knot in 1966. Their collaboration in film and their shared experiences in music mark significant chapters in their lives. In 1953, a Distinguished Theatre Award was bestowed upon her for her outstanding performance. This recognition marked a significant moment in her early career. Later on, she played a crucial role in establishing an institution that celebrates the culture of European cities. As a minister, she was instrumental in selecting a city for cultural festivities every four years. This highlighted her dedication to promoting European cultural richness. Sadly, her life was cut short by complications from lung cancer. She passed away in New York City in 1994 after battling the illness. Her journey included success in theater, significant involvement in European cultural recognition, and a brave fight against cancer. Her story continues to inspire many. In the realm of cinema, some partnerships transcend the screen, weaving tales that captivate audiences for generations. One such duo found their synergy both on and off the set, creating magic that continues to resonate today. Their story is a testament to the power of collaboration and the enduring impact of shared passion. Their journey began amidst the glamour of Cannes, where talent met charisma, sparking a connection that would shape both their personal and professional lives. From that moment, their creative bond flourished, giving birth to unforgettable characters and narratives that left an indelible mark on cinema history. The cinematic canvas they painted together was vibrant and rich, a testament to their collective vision and dedication to storytelling. Through highs and lows, they stood united, navigating the ever-changing landscape of the film industry with grace and resilience. Their partnership, though no longer bound by mortal ties, lies on through the timeless tales they crafted together. In the grand story of cinema, their chapter remains poignant and significant, a testament to the magic of collaboration and the enduring power of storytelling. It's a narrative written not just in scripts and reels, but in the hearts and minds of audiences around the world. 
And so, the tale of their creative journey continues to inspire, reminding us of the transformative power of art and the beauty found in shared dreams. In times of trouble, one remarkable person stood tall, speaking out against injustice despite facing harsh consequences. Back in 1967, when Greece was taken over by a military group, this individual fearlessly criticized the new rulers, even when forced to live in another country. Her strong belief in democracy and fairness angered those in power so much that they took away her citizenship. But she didn't give up. Instead, she continued to speak up against the unfair regime, gaining support from people around the world. Despite facing many difficulties in her personal and professional life, she remained firm in her beliefs until Greece finally got its democracy back. Her brave actions continue to inspire us, showing the importance of standing up for what's right, no matter the challenges. This story, filled with defiance and strength, highlights the impact she had on history.